Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do a design tutorial. I have always loved doing neon signs for a lot of different projects that I've done for my clients, whether it's like a YouTube intro where the neon sign is blinking, or also even just like images or banners that I've created for my clients, like websites and things like that. Um, it's a really loved and popular effect, especially in the beauty and fashion industry. So let's get started. So let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up your Photoshop and create new. And once you go to create new, you have to choose like a size of the document that you're gonna be working off of. So in our case, we wanna go with the 16 by nine ratio, which is kind of the, uh, the new standard screen size, I would say. But if you guys wanted to do it for like Instagram and do like a one-to-one -one ratio, honestly, anything works. But we'll be going with 1280 by 720 pixels. Now that I have a document set up and a board going, what you wanna do next is choose a background. So what you can do is either double click the background and turn it into a layer and then right click blending options and color overlay. And you can just choose any color that you want. Or in my case, um, I'm going to actually be importing a background image that I had picked out previously. Um, it's like this really cool concrete texture um, that I think would serve really well if I were to pair it with like a neon because I want the neon to look like it's on this concrete wall. But anywho, okay, so the next thing you want to do is if you hover over this T right here, um, you'll see that it's called the horizontal type tool. The shortcut is if you were to just press T, it goes to that as you can see. And then you wanna drag and create a text box. And for me, um, I'm going to make my neon sign say, do epic shit because I saw that quote the other day and I was like, yeah, this is my jam. I don't like fancy schmancy, whatever quotes. Like I just like simple quotes like do epic shit. And I, I hope I can say shit you guys in this video because I'm saying it a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go with do epic shit. And <laughs> um, I don't think Helvetica right here is the right answer to um, having a neon sign. I feel like for this particular neon effect, I want something that feels a little bit more uh, scripty and more elegant. Like, like a real neon side would. So I'm gonna go with this font called Portrait. And um, you can see that it's, it's a really nice font, honestly, I love it so much. Okay, so we're gonna call it Do Epic Shit. You guys can do any text or any, honestly, like even if it's just like lines or something that you want. Um, and what you're gonna do next is right click the text layer and we wanna convert it to a smart object because we, we want to manipulate it and it just like works better usually with line qualities and once you click convert to smart object you'll see that it's become like a smart object slash almost like a it's not a vector but kind of looks like it and what you're gonna do next is right click again let's get started with the color overlay first and for me i want this to be a white neon so um, i'm gonna go with um just white and you're gonna go okay and then press OK again. And um, you also want to go back into it. So double click the effects layer again. And then I also wanna create like a nice drop shadow. So let me um, show you guys. Once you hit the drop shadow, you'll see that it's kind of created this cool drop effect. You always wanna make sure that the angle is at 90 because if you think about like neon signs that you usually see on walls and stuff, um, the shadow doesn't like go off to the side usually because it creates like a direct shadow underneath from the, its own lighting. You can kind of play around with, you know, how far you want the shadow to be. I like it when there's a little bit of that gap here because it looks more realistic, I think. And also for the blend mode, you usually want to go with something like multiply or darken. I think I'm going to go with multiply and then, yeah, I think around um, maybe 35 is a good number for uh, the opacity percentage. So you could put it at like size like two, one or two, just so it softens a little bit. Um, you can see that as you make the size bigger and bigger, it kind of like, it makes the shadow size bigger and therefore it looks more 
like spread out so we don't want it to look too you know spread out because obviously then it's not going to look realistic that is kind of like the base that we're going to be working off of and then now i will show you how to create different layers that's going to be serving as like the different stages of the blinking neon when we put it into the animation effect always 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 label your layers especially as you're creating more and more it's like it gets so annoying to have to look through like hundreds of layers so i always like to like just generally label my layers sometimes i get lazy but you know what I mean. so now you're going to take this layer and then bring it down here and when you hover it over the uh this little plus button inside the square it's gonna um duplicate it so you'll see that just now um the layer duplicated okay so what we're gonna do right now is grab the copy that i created what we're gonna do is um reveal the layers effect and then we are going to um, select the color overlay and this time around you want to make it a color that's a little bit darker than the neon that you're working off of a really really light shade of gray like this color right here that I have what this is is like one layer that's like when the neon is off um, and that's gonna be basically like what you start off with so I'm gonna label this as do epic shit like one so the next thing you want to do is you want to do the same thing where you duplicate this layer again so you grab it you bring it down here and then here we made another copy of it by the way just keep turning off the other layers that we have underneath because there's a lot of layers and do epic shit copy um, I'm gonna call this the number two because this is gonna be the layer that follows the first layer that we just created and then for this one it's gonna be right after you turn the neon on before it turns on fully like when it's like fully bright so this one we want to double click the color overlay and then so since i told you guys that mine's gonna be a white neon so i'm gonna go back to turning it into a white and then um here's the fun part you want to go to outer glow and oh it's already already kind of there but that looks pretty bright so what you want to do is play around with the opacity you definitely don't want to make it too strong in the beginning um, because the neon is just like t starting to turn on so i think like somewhere around maybe yeah 33 percentage for the opacity we don't want the spread to be too big just yet because it's like the right after you turn the neon on we want it to be a little bit dimmer and i'll put the size around yeah 38 looks like a good number so i'm gonna press ok and um we already have our second layer aka the dimmest dimmest neon layer and we want to do the same thing that we've been doing so you want to duplicate this again and this time around i'm gonna call it do epic shit three <laughs> and go into the outer glow layer again or the outer glow effects and then this time we want to bump it up a little bit more so you know bump up the opacity just a little bit more to like 45 and then um, you also want to bump up the spread a little bit i think and also the size you'll see that the neon is a little bit more glowy a little bit more turned on i guess and this is going to be the final final layer where it looks like bam so you want to duplicate this layer again and I'm gonna change the name to do epic shit four. And you're gonna go into the effects again, click outer glow, and um, here, let's bump up the opacity this time around to like 50, 55. And actually, I think I'm gonna keep the spread relatively the same, but this time around, I wanna make the size a lot bigger. So you see how the neon light is starting to kind of spread and therefore creating this dramatic like glow effect so yeah there we have it that was super simple these are basically going to be the little layer by layer or the frames that we are going to play consecutively to create this like effect where it looks like the neon's blinking and turning on okay so now that we have all of this ready um, we are going to go to window and timeline and you're gonna create a video timeline once you create a video timeline it's gonna look a little bit like this but what you want to do here is press this layer here or not the layer uh press this button down here with the three squares and um i like to work off of this uh format instead of the timeline uh because i think it's just easier to manipulate layers especially when we're not really doing any kind of like scaling with the movements it's literally just 
placing layer by layer, fra frame by frame after one another. So once you convert it into a timeline, you will see that uh, it has this 5.01 seconds situation going on and you just want to change this to like I don't know 0.2 or 0.5 turn off all the other layers except for your very first layer aka do epic shit one and that's the one where um, it's the neon's not turned on at all so once you do that um, you want to add another layer so add this plus button right here and then for the next layer, you want to turn on do epic shit too. Make sure that as you're building onto these layers, you're also turning off the previous layer so that you know the shadow stays consistent because if you end up adding like uh, not turning off some of your previous layers, you'll see that the shadow gets darker um, as things are turning on and we don't want that. So turn, I'm gonna turn off do epic shit one and then turn on do epic shit two <laughs> because it's gonna be like a quick like ascension of the layers and the neon lights, I want to make sure that it's not all the same time duration. So this one, I'm gonna put it at like 0.2 and then the next layer, add another layer here and I'm gonna turn on the third layer, aka the third brightness. So you can all already see that we are starting to kind of create this little animation effect. Um, and what you want to do from here is I like it when the neon doesn't all turn on in one full go I feel like it looks more cool or realistic after the third layer I actually want to go back to the layer before and then we're gonna go back up again So if you want to think of this as like a weird like visual curve situation It's like turning on turning on turning on and then it dips a little bit and then it's gonna go boom the next layer you put on um, I I'm actually gonna go back to putting it as do epic shit too and then it kind of goes like boom and then it dims a little bit again but not doesn't like turn off completely and then you want to add the next layer and then for the next layer you're going to put in do epic shit 3 again and then finally after that we're gonna go into do epic shit layer 4 so that's already what like six layers total and then obviously after it turns on you want to make sure that it stays on that frame for at least i don't know i'm gonna put like a good second and um if you also want to play with the times a little bit so it feels a little bit more like natural and organic as opposed to everything like progressing at the same speed you can also do custom times so if you don't see the exact uh, number of dura time of duration that you want here you can press other and put in like zero point, I'm gonna put in like 0 0.4 because I think that's a good number. Let's just test it out and you can see how it looks um, when we play it. So what you do is just press the play button. Ooh. So you kind of see how um, it like progresses and creates this neon effect. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple, pretty easy tutorial. You can always set the um, whether you want it to loop. So it'll be like loop three times, loop, just play it once and that's it. You can also have it so that it loops forever. In this case, obviously we don't want the neon sign to be too annoying and in your face. I think just like that tasteful animation in the beginning is honestly all you need. So you're gonna, I'm gonna put it at once and I'm actually going to extend this to like two seconds because I feel like it, it just feels a little bit better when it's like staying on that. So now that we have it, um, I'll show you guys how to export. So you're gonna go press this button right here, which is gonna convert um, this to a video timeline. So that's the first step. Now that you're at the video timeline, you want to press this little button right here. It's called render video. And by doing this, we are turning the video into a uh, movie file. And then for the format, um, make sure that you're actually saving this as H.264. Um, document size should be everything should be the same um, I like high quality so we're gonna export it as high quality and render right so that was it for the neon effects tutorial I would love to see you know you creating some kind of neon effect and whether it's your Instagram post or YouTube um, you can always tag me at Donley design on Instagram thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys next time bye